Bob Catter had history with the National Party but became an independent person. He is singularly perhaps the most interesting part of the equation at the next election. They're going to be Bob Catter party um, people going for seats all around Australia. If he picks up three, four or five, he might hold the balance of power. And sure, there are going to be people around Australia who go, how scary is that? If Catter's Australia party can get six or seven House of Representative seats, better still, 12 or 15. That's possible. But more importantly, everyone is saying we're going to get four or five senators. If we get that balance of power, you will see the, use, the ruthless use of power to achieve things for this country. Bob Catter, I can tell you from first-hand experience, does look after his electorate, has irrespective of what you think about his views are, and they are confrontational. Um, there are a lot of people that believe that he talks directly to them because he can actually relate to people and he's real and he gets stuff done for his electorate. So whilst everyone else around Australia might bag Bob Catter, the reality is that while everyone's bagging him, there are a lot of people going, you know what, I actually agree with him. At least he's going to do something. Now, whether that perception is true or not, I don't know, but he's certainly, again, got an awful lot of funding for his own electorate.